Every banknote is, is individual. The banknote itself actually starts to speak about the culture of, of that particular country and obviously many countries are proud of their, their cultural background so it's important that we capture that in essence onto a banknote. The banknotes really is the, is the calling card to the international market about what that country is really about. This is one of our house banknotes which celebrates the, the 200 year anniversary of Delarue. The heron was put on there to show some of the features on our polymer substrate, showing the clear substrate when it penetrates through, and therefore the heron's dip is beaking through the water. This particular banknote is about flora and fauna of the UK, but you're trying to either capture either technology, capturing famous or historic people, or capturing wildlife of that particular country. When we're designing banknotes, most banknotes stay in circulation between seven and ten years, so it needs to stand the test of time. The durability of these banknotes far outstretches that of paper. The number of security features that are typically within a banknote are around about 20 to 30, um, and those will be incorporated whether or not into the substrate, into the security thread, into different parts of the ink, again in different layers to try and deter the counterfeiter. We incorporate all of the security features into the banknote, so on this one here we have the, a transparent window, which is a security feature for, for polymer. And again, there's some covert features into the banknote as well, which when you expose the banknote to different types of light source, will reveal some security features. But there are effectively three levels. Level one are typically public recognition features. So for instance, here we have this mag magnetic ink on it. And these are typically features that enable the public to determine that the, the banknote is genuine. Level two are security features that require some other teller assist, so they require either a UV lamp or a, or a microscope to actually examine the banknote. And then level three security features, sometimes they're sleeper features which are not used or certainly not announced to the public. The central banks hold those features in reserve um, to be able to sort their banknotes out if there are counterfeiting issues. For a designer and working for Delarue's, it's to show that the, the, the product that you're producing touches the lives of everybody every day. Um, so most people have a product in their pocket, um, whether or not that will be a banknote or a passport or a driving licence that's been uh, designed and developed by Delarue.